So I got another great question about trying to understand like solving ratios. So the question is like, why can you cross multiply? So the student had something like, like this. And so we've been working with rational equations and then it was like, I just busted out cross multiplication. And there was just a question is like, why, why can we suddenly do that? So little background for you. Ratios look like this. So they could be like a fraction. This would be read three to 10 or five to two, or you could just spell out three to seven. Um, so this is kind of just an important thing to review. For this question, we want to think of ratios in terms of their, their fractional form, three tenths, five, five seconds, three sevenths. And so what we want to do here is um, we want to figure out why is it that if we have an equation with two ratios, say something like this, x plus one over three, this is one ratio equals x plus four over two, this is another singular ratio, or here would be another case of ratios, three over x equals six over 10. Why is it with these I can cross multiply these? So let's let's think this through. Okay, so I want to take a second just to compare to a typical rational equation and what is the method that we use to solve this. So the first thing I want to point out, we do not have two ratios in this type of problem. These are like three separate ratios. So cross multiplying will not work here. And so let's just remind ourselves, how do we solve something like this? I'll do this really quickly. So first of all, the, the first thing I'd have to do is figure out the LCD. In this case, as I look across, it'd be x plus two and x minus four. And then I'd go through and I'd multiply each part of this equation by that LCD. And then I'd go through and I'd make, you know, my cancellations. I've talked about this in a lot of other videos. And then at the end, I, I just take a look at like what's left over. So here would be kind of the resulting equation. So I'd have this x times, uh, or eight times x minus four and this negative 12 times x plus two, and then this two times x minus four. So here's what I'm left with. And then I could just go ahead and distribute those things. Um, so if I went ahead and distributed, I would have this result here, and then I would collect my like terms to get this. And then I'd wanna get like my x's on one side and my numbers on the other. So I'm, I'm just kind of quickly going through the idea of this just to remind you of how this works. So I'd get this result here, and ultimately I'd get that x equals negative eight. All right. so. That's the typical rational equation. And now I want to take a look at an equation with two ratios. How is this different? Why would I cross multiply? So but let, forget about cross multiplying for a second. Just if I wanted to solve this, this is still, you know, rational equations. So what is the LCD of, of kind of everything that we're looking at here? In this case, like the, the LCD that I would look for canceling out stuff would be five times X plus eight. So I'm assuming that you've already kind of mastered like picking out your LCDs at this point. Okay, so I really wanna draw this out at this point. So I go through, I multiply the LCD by each side of the equation, like you see here. And then I'll go ahead and make my cancellations. So there's everything that would cancel. And so here's what I would be left with. I'd be left with negative X times X plus eight and three times five. So this result here. Okay, so I used that LCD method, but check out what this result right here, what is this? This is what you get when you cross multiply, right? So remember this, okay, remember this result. Let's say now that I wanna cross multiply. So I'm starting over and now I'm saying, I don't wanna do the LCD, I wanna do this cross multiplying. So if I do that, I multiply you know, across each way, this would be what I'm left with, right? Negative X times X plus eight and three times five. So it's the same thing. And okay, so from here, just to finish solving this out, so I distribute that x and then um, I'd wanna bring, let's see, I'll bring these two terms over to this side. So I get this result here and then I can factor. So my solutions in this case would be um, x equals negative three or x equals negative five. Okay, so this is, this is now, like, so now you see why cross multiplying works, okay? There's one thing I wanna mention with this though you don't have to cross multiply. So if it's too much to remember, you can just do the normal LCD cancel method like we've talked about in other videos. That's totally fine. You don't have to worry about it. You will notice me cross multiply because you know I'm gonna use it if I can. Um, but if you think that this is gonna throw you off, then just use the same method every single time. And as we just saw, you'll get to the same result no matter what. And so that covers that question, guys. So thanks a lot for that.